Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, do another little episode here on Ham Radio. And uh, this one is Satellite Communications. Uh, it's probably going to be a pretty short video, but um, as you can see here on the screen in front of you, I'm actually tracking a satellite right now. And uh, I don't think I'll be able to talk to him because I don't have the proper antennas. But we might hear something when the satellite comes over. So, if you look right here, that's actually the, the satellite where it is now. And this red line is the path that it's following. It's actually going this way. And that little house represents where I am right now. And, uh, anyways, it'll continue to follow this line, and the line turns blue. And Anyways, it makes... Uh, several passes a day I think something like 17 passes is how often it flies over um, the trajectory is always a little different <clears throat> this blue line over here represents where it's going to pass the next time it goes by okay so it's gonna be a little further away but this time it's passing really close and uh, I'm hoping that we're gonna at least be able to hear it as it goes by and uh, satellites they uh, work kind of like a repeater actually uh, actually you could say it is a repeater technically um, but the uh, before, you know in my past video we talked about duplex frequencies to access a repeater well this time it's uh, more of a cross banding thing uh, sorta um, the uplink to you know that you transmit into is actually VHF and the downlink, as they call it, uh, comes down in UHF. So, you know, that's a little different from what we talked about before with repeaters. But this one's going to pass over, and as you can see, that that little satellite there keeps moving once in a while. Um, this is uh, uh, actually a Saudi Arabian satellite. They're the ones that put it up. I uh, forget what year. I want to say 2002, but I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. But uh, it's called the SO50 satellite, and uh, um, for VHF and UHF uh, <clears throat> deals, we talked about VHF and UHF being line of sight and using repeaters to get a little further. Um, a good repeater, guys that are separated. Oh. 100 miles on a really good repeater uh, you know if they had a repeater between them they could talk back and forth you know 100 miles but that's a long ways um, for VHF and UHF <clears throat> now this is a satellite and obviously the antenna is really high in the air because it's in space right um, trying to see it doesn't list it Oh well. So, but with a satellite, since you have a really high antenna, <clears throat> you can actually talk even further um, away. As the satellite passes, if you can get into it, you can talk uh, state to state easily. So, like I said, it's going to pass by um, in about five minutes is when it's going to start to make its pass. So. We're going to turn it over to the radio and we're going to listen to see if we hear it. So uh, the rest of the video is just going to be a lot of static. So uh, hopefully we hear something. It'd be pretty neat. So stay tuned. Okay, guys, we're uh, zoomed in on my radio. That's the ICOM 2720 VHF UHF dual bander. Uh, as you can see on the left side over here, we're on VHF, over here we're on UHF. This will be the uplink, so if I do get a chance to talk to it, I'll actually talk in on this frequency. Uh, but we're probably just going to listen, and the downlink from the satellite is uh, this frequency. <clears throat> it's actually uh, 436 800, but uh, as the satellite starts to pass, the Doppler shifts and all that changes the frequency up a little bit. So we're starting here, and then we'll move that in increments. So uh, it should be passing over right now. And uh, we it will be passing over for the next 11 minutes. So we're going to turn the squelch down and see if we can hear something. So it may take a while. Just.
according to the computer, it's going over New Mexico right now. Uh, just going into Texas. set up for satellite communication but I was hoping since it was as close as it was that we might hear something <clears throat> uh, the other night I did hear something just listening but uh, and it was a pass that was a little bit closer than this one but uh, anyhow that's what happens when you don't have the right antenna up so I think it's time to build an antenna and, and uh, do some satellite work so let me uh, roll over here to the computer right quick you can see there's the uh, tracking deal that I'm using and that little cross right there is the satellite and that's kind of a Google Earth image so that's where it's crossing over right now um, if you guys want to uh, you know track some satellites you can track more than this you can track the space station and all kinds of stuff but it's uh, right there satview.org and that will, uh, you, like I said, you can you can track all kinds of satellites. You can track the International Space Station. Uh, so, if you want to, go ahead, and uh, you can actually talk to the International Space Station also. Um, I never have, but uh, I know guys that have. Um, it's kind of hard to do because it obviously it has to be passing over you within a certain range, and. Uh, the other thing is, is there has to be somebody on the radio in the space station at the time it goes over. <laughs> so, 
you know, a lot of variables there, so it's kind of a tough task to do, but anyways, there you go, guys. Uh, I think next video I might build an antenna and we'll actually uh, try to communicate with this satellite, so anyhow. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, if you have any questions, comments, please feel free. Uh, like always, uh, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button and subscribe. So, thanks for watching.